Hi ladies, this is Carla. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you how to make a funky bowl. Now this one is relatively small because I am making some projects that I'll be using this on. But if you were uh, making, you know, maybe for a wreath, making one for a wreath or something like that, you could use wider ribbon and longer pieces of ribbon. For this one, this ribbon is one and a half inches and it's a glittery kind of candy stripe ribbon. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I had it from last year. And so to make this ribbon, you're going to need six strips of ribbon that measure 12 inches. Now, if you have three different kinds of ribbon, it will make it even more attractive. I only have the two right now, so I'm just going to be using the uh, two different um, patterns, I guess is what you'd say of ribbon. So what you wanna do is, I took this stripe here, and you wanna measure three of those that are 12 inches long. So I've got three of those already cut, and I've got two of this other type of ribbon, and I'll go ahead and measure it out and cut it for you. I'm starting at my 10, so I'm gonna to go to 22. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go up to 22. I don't know if you can see that, I'll move it up there. So it's gonna be this long, that's 10 inches, and this makes, 22 makes 12 inches. So I'm gonna cut that there. And after you have all six pieces of your ribbon cut, then you're simply going to fold it in half I'm gonna trim this one off because it's not quite straight. On each of your strips, after you fold them in half, you have like six inches. And then you're going to take the ends and fold them in half. Then you're going to come here, cut at an angle, and you're gonna dovetail the ends of those ribbons. So after you have them all dovetailed, you're going to need a half of a Chanel stem. This is what a full Chanel stem looks like. And I've already used half of mine to make another bow. So this is what you'll need to secure the bow once you get it formed. So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this one. And you're going to come here and just kind of about halfway down, maybe just a tad more than half, about right in the middle, kind of just scrunch it up. Now, if you have ribbon that is the same on both sides, you won't need to do this step. But if your ribbon is, you know, uh, not finished or doesn't have the same pattern on the top as it does the bottom. You want to take this bottom one that doesn't have this design and just twist it. So it's going to be facing the same way as this one. Now you're going to take the other design and you're going to lay it on top of this one. Again, you need to come into the center, about the center, Squish it up in the middle and hold it tight. Again, you want to pull this one back and just take this one and twist it. So the underside goes under, the top side comes up. Okay, now you've got two on there. Alternate, do the same way with this. Just come back again, lay it on top, scrunch it in the middle, lay it on top. And come under here, pull those 
those apart. Try to keep holding those scrunched up and tight in the middle. And just twist it again. So you've got the underside down and the top facing up. Now you're going to bring another one. Bring it on top. Scrunch it in the middle. Keep them, you know, fairly even. Get it all scrunched in there. Again, come on this underneath one. And twist. Again, this one. You can see all the glitter falling down. I was working on one of these yesterday and I had a hair appointment. So I was doing this in the morning and I went to my hairdresser and she says, Carla, you have glitter all in your hair. I said, oh, I must have ran my fingers through my hair when I was working on these. <laughs> so again, lay that up there, scrunch it in the middle and twist. Twist down here. And your last one, do the same thing. Scrunch it up in the middle. And go in and twist. Try to keep my hand out of the camera here. Twisted and even after you have it secured with your Chanel stem, you can still go in there and twist it around some more. Okay, we're ready now. I'm gonna take this Chanel stem and place it on top like so, I'm holding those ribbons still tight. I'm gonna turn this, take it under. Oop. Keep that twisted in there. Bring it around to get these together, and then just start twisting your stem until it's very, very tight. Just twist and twist and twist till you feel like you've got it. I think I've got it. And now you've got this. So all you need to do now is to come in and just kind of fluff them apart, pull them apart. I made these uh, last year. I made a few wreaths. Not a lot because, I don't know, in my craft booth, I like to have a variety of things. That way, somebody's looking, you know, for different things. I might have that different thing they're looking for instead of just one thing that they're not looking for. <laughs> just kind of mess with this and pull it out and if you do have three ribbons give that a try too because it does give you a variety you can see how that's starting to kind of fluff up then pull these around pull these up out pull this one around Get the idea how that's kind of coming together and some of these just kind of hold them in there and fluff it up. Where's my other one? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna pull him up in here. This way. There it is. See how that's coming together? Isn't that cute? Keep working with it until you get it, you know, looking the way you want it and pull these apart. And like I said, you can always twist these again if they are not turned the way you want them to turn. So that's the advantage of using wire ribbon. You do want to use wire ribbon. And 
look at how cute that is. Isn't that cute? And fast. And that was really pretty fast that we made this adorable little bow. This in there. So, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you give that a try. Maybe you'll need to use that on some of your projects. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, if you liked this little bow, you could hit like, give me a thumbs up. And if this is your first time watching, you would, if you would subscribe, I would appreciate that also. Okay, I'm, I'm going to think I'm done. I could just keep messing with it though, but sometimes there's a stopping point, right? <laughs> okay, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.